I'm Amy. I'm 23. I love shopping but hate spending money. I love dancing and I like to think I'm pretty funny. And I'm Ryan. I'm 26. I'm a high school teacher and coach. Uh, I have a pretty extensive movie collection. I love to play video games with my friends and I co-host a podcast. And we're the Parums. We're newlyweds, recent college graduates, living on a budget. And guess what? We're expecting our first little bundle of joy. Oh, and we also have the cutest pup in the world, Harper. Come follow our journey as we learn how to navigate the world together. All right, so on today's quarantine activities day, who knows at this point, um, but I'm on my way to American Revelry Restaurant in Burleson, Texas. Uh, a couple days ago, they posted on Facebook that they're gonna put together some uh, supplies, uh, kind of like a survival kit, if you will. Um, so we decided to pre-order one to kind of help out the business while they're shut down. I think it's a good idea. Um, they're do they have a surplus of items and um, why not bundle them up for a good cause and sell them to the public. Uh, when I get back home, me and Amy will kind of go through those items and show you a little bit of what's uh, involved in that package, kind of why we decided to get it, things like that, especially uh, you never know how thing more severe things will get in this quarantine, so I'd rather be more prepared than not with some of these items. All right, guys, so we made it home, picked up the, uh, the goods from American Revelry. Big thank you to them. That's a hard word to say. Revelry. Um, so I'm going to let Amy dig through uh, the bag of goods here and kind of show you what we got. Uh, we bought this for $32. Also gave a nice tip just to uh, support the local restaurants that are shut down uh, during this time as hatch to go. So I will let her start picking through and showing you all what we got. Clearly that we were able to just get some of their common things that they just have for their restaurant themselves. So we got some disinfectant spray. Yeah, which just, is good because you can't really find it in stores right now. Um, some paper towels that aren't like normal paper towels, but whatever, it works. You might use mass toilet paper if you want to. No, because we also got, yes. we also got toilet paper. Restaurant style. Restaurant style. So we are, we could open up our own restaurant if we wanted to. And then they just divvy things out into pounds basically. So we got a pound of pasta. Spaghetti. Pasta can mean a lot of things. <laughs> because they can't see that it's spaghetti. Um, some sugar, which is nice. And you know, sugar or flour. It's sugar. You can tell. It's thick. It's not flour. You feel it. It's like grainy. Um, pound of butter. Sweet cream butter. Here you go, I'm gonna show it off. Okay. And then some more just like utility things. Uh, we got like five gloves. gloves. Yeah, five large gloves, five medium gloves. Which I don't really know if we'll use, but whatever. Well, in case we need oh, clean, in case we need to go into the public. I forgot when you put this in the fridge for that. i got a pound of uh, ground beef, which I am going to exit and put in the fridge. Fridge or freezer? And then um, six eggs. Six eggs. That's good, because eggs are kind of one of the things that are hard to find. Also, some milk. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Well, I mean, you have to think, if, if worse gets to worse, this is a good bowl of cereal. That's yeah. two bowls of cereal. Yeah, and then some chocolate milk, which we don't ever buy, but I'm very excited about it. Dang, some true milk. Because I'm very pregnant, and chocolate milk sounds amazing right now. True milk takes me back to uh, elementary school, or high school. I know, those little things just remind me of cafeterias in elementary school. Two little things of apple juice, which I'm gonna open one right now because I really want it. Okay, apple juice. I'll give a taste test. Taste test. Rank it. Mm, that's good. That's some high quality from a high end restaurant. One out of ten. One out of ten? Mm -hmm. All the apple juices, it's a little watery. I'll give it like an eight and a half. Still high. Um, it says a pound of potatoes, but it looks like we got two potatoes, which is fine, so there's two of us. Probably gonna eat these for dinner. Two giant potatoes. Amy loves potatoes, so. <laughs> um, two Granny Smith apples. 
Yep. This is Pink Lady and this is Honey Crisp. We got two of each of these. Two Pink Ladies, two Honey Crisps. What else we got? And then, this is like a Walmart sack. You can just move that. Um, we got a bunch of celery, which I think they said a pound it's, of celery. No, right? it's literally called a bunch of celery. Oh, okay. Um, which I will eat, you probably will. I won't eat Me and Harper will eat them. And then two onions, which are kind of getting two jumbled onions. around. So, and then it's supposed to be That's a lot of carrots. A pound of carrots, so it's two really, really large carrots, which is really nice. <laughs> carrots are. Um, Dang, that's like a stereotypical uh, Olaf nose right there. Yeah, but carrots are big in this household, so we'll get a lot of use out of it. Absolutely. So we're gonna go put the stuff in the fridge, but again, we wanted to. Uh, thank American Revelry for the generous amount of items, um, especially when a lot of these items are very tough to find in stores and a lot of places are actually self-quarantined or, you know, shelter in place, whatever they want to call it, which, yes, you can still go to stores, but may not be the safest place. So big shouts out to the Revelry. 